Alright guys, um, it's Sunday morning, it's half past seven, and I'm up nice and early to go to the gym. Um, I've got quite a busy day today to be honest, um, oh yeah, I'm having to speak quietly because obviously mum and dad are still sleeping downstairs, so that's why I'm being quiet, my voice is quiet. Um, quiet um, but anyway yeah I've got a busy day today um, so I'm gonna go to the gym and then I'm gonna have some breakfast and then I'm playing golf with my friend Jordan today which will be quite interesting because he's starting to play more but he's only just really getting back into it so he doesn't really know how he's playing at the minute so it could be one or the other he could play really good or really bad so we'll be quite interested to see how that gets on as well as myself um, but anyway need to crack on with today um, I'm doing my lower half in the gym um, because I need to get that nice and strong and powerful because it's pretty much essential that you use that mostly in the golf swing because that's where all the power comes from it comes from the ground upwards so it's imperative that I get that um, really strong so I'll be doing stuff like box jumps squats, lunges, leg extension, leg curl etc um, hopefully it'll be a good session it should be um, as I'm up nice and early I'm motivated to do it so um, yeah let's see how it goes and then I'll go and play golf hopefully I'll get some videos in for you depending on the weather it's not looking great at the minute on the forecast but we'll see how it goes so stay tuned and have a good rest of the weekend. Um, yeah, so I will see you later. Right guys, I've just finished my round of golf with Jordan, uh, doing my supplementary card, and I have to say, I am pretty pleased with how it got on. Um, I've struck the ball really nice, um, didn't put that well, and didn't really take many chances, but I managed to get it round with a good score. Now, I can get my handicap cut on that, 
Um, considering the weather wasn't that great, uh, we had a bit of rain on the front nine, and the course was very soggy. And uh, on the back nine, it somehow managed to get misty, so we struggled to actually um, see some of the holes from probably about the 12th hole onwards. And as it was dropping dark, it made it very difficult to um, see where we were supposed to hit the ball. But still, managed to get it round, and it was really positive, and it really shows that what I'm working on is paying off and I'm just trying to get myself sharp for the rest of the season or even the start of the season that might help um, yeah so that's all good so I'm really pleased about that um, so now I'm off to watch the Villa game against Tottenham I can't see it being a very good game I think we might get overturned which I wouldn't be at all surprised about um, Tottenham have a good side, so but we'll see how it goes and I'll let you know, so stay tuned. Hey guys, now Villa just got knocked out of the FA Cup. It wasn't really a surprise to me to be honest because Tottenham have a very good side. Um, they put their second team out from what it looked like. Um, Villa s sort of gave a chance to some of the young lads and the fringe players. Um, but we did really well first half. We frustrated them. We didn't have hardly any of the ball. Tottenham had about 70% of the ball now. Um, but they didn't have any shots at all, whereas Villa had a couple. Um, but Villa never really looked like threatening, to be honest. Um, but then, second half, Tottenham brought on Ali, and I think his name's Onoma. Josh Onoma, I think it is. Um, and that changed the game, really. And um, Villa got a bit sloppy at the back. Baker got injured, uh, which made them look a bit shaky. Um, and then we can see two sloppy goals and lost the game 2-0. Um... In terms of what it's going to do for Villa, I think it could potentially be a good thing because that might help us get in the playoffs. Um, I think we're too far behind to actually get automatic behind Brighton and Newcastle. Um, but definitely, now we've got knocked out of that and other teams around us are still in it, that could potentially help us, um, especially with some of the games we've got coming up. Wolves away. Like, we really want to batter them, to be honest, because we don't like Wolves, do we? Um, and then we've got Bristol City, and I think we've got Brentford as well. Um, so, I think overall it could help us in the long term. Um, but I think we need to get a few players in as well, uh, especially with AU and Koji off to the African Cup of Nations. So, but overall... It wasn't too bad. Um, in terms of my golf, um, for the rest of, well, the start of this week, come in tomorrow, um, I'm going to play again with Jordan, I think, and do a bit of practice, and we'll have a bit of fun. I think we might do a couple of trick shots, if we can, uh, depending on how many people are out there on the course. Um, we'll just have a bit of fun tomorrow, and we'll also go to the gym uh, in the morning. So, I hope you've all had a nice weekend, and keep following my progress, and if you want to comment on anything, I'd love to be able to answer any questions or respond to anything that you guys want to see, possibly. Um, just share anything, share all my videos, subscribe, because that would really help me. Um, to get myself out there and make people aware of what I'm trying to do. So thank you guys once again and I'll see you tomorrow.